Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Just bear with me, this is something I've not done before. Maybe you can stay with me till the end. We can learn together. Just on a little trip out, pick some bits up. I've had laser cuts for the new project. I've been lucky and I think it's getting easier to find uh, laser cutting companies that don't have a minimum fee and will work with you. So we're going to do a bit of a chat when we get there. Hopefully get a show around and, and, and see what what it is they do and everything. So I've had, I've had some bits done by them already and I've been quite impressed with what they've done. The reason I'm putting myself in this position now is for years I've been sharing videos of let's say the end results, jet engine testing, days out at the track and at Santa Pod. I thought it was about time that rather than just showing the finished product, show the journey it takes to build an engine, uh, put one together, some of the problems you have to overcome and share some of the information I have. Most of the knowledge I've got has come from a, a group I joined after I'd seen a jet engine being built from a turbocharger on a program called Scrap Heap Challenge in the UK. I think in the States they have something called Junkyard Wars or something like that which is similar. They made a jet engine from a turbocharger. I, I got me interested, found a, a Yahoo group called DIY Gas Turbines. Made friends there, got information, made my first jet engine, put it in a cart chassis. It wasn't the fastest thing, it probably had a top speed of 30 miles an hour. The one that uh, I last built now holds a record at 116 mile an hour, uh, which we hope to improve on later this year. A friend in Sweden, I think he holds the ultimate speed for a homemade jet engine powered vehicle. He's got a, a jet bike, he's just done over 200 mile an hour. I think it's quite impressive that an engine you've built yourself, pretty much in a shed or in your own workshop, and you can reach those kind of speeds. The new engine I'm building, we're hoping for something around the 200 mile an hour mark. We're going to put it in a, in a go-kart chassis and uh, use what's called a, a, a free power section to give us uh, shaft power at the back wheels. I'm hoping for something like 250 brake horsepower, probably 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. That's the journey I want to take you on. If any of you are interested, the DIY Gas Turbines has pretty much moved to a forum which is called Jet and Turbine Owners. We'll put a link in the description below so if you want to go and have a look on there, have a look on my projects and other people's projects. We'll put some video up of uh, hopefully my, my first go-kart. As I say, top speed of about 30 miles an hour, but the fact that it moved at all, it was so crude, it was unbelievable. The oil reservoir was a, a biscuit barrel I bought from a local supermarket. The fuel tank was a, a repurposed jerry can from a, a local motor factors. So yeah, um, I just want to share the experience. Hi, it's Andy Morris. Yeah. Right, well, that was the reception for Laser. They're also part of a company that built valves for the UK. Now we're going down to the place where all the magic happens. Bracket, so 
channel lots of interesting videos there lots of testing lots of world record attempts lots of flames lots of noise some failed engine tests once again thanks for watching let me know what you think like and subscribe and uh, until next time take care